often when you have an apple tree, you have too many apples, more than you can eat. In the olden days, they used to store them in basements and coolers and cellars. But in modern times, I came up with an idea to dry the apples for uh, survival through the winter. My wife made some nice apple crisp. That's a very common thing to do. That's delicious. You eat that with vanilla ice cream, there's nothing better. But I also, I'm a modern survivor. These, um, these are packaged now for the winter. And if it's true that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, I have enough dried apples here for an apple because they shrink down. You know, one apple shrinks down into a small, small package. I put them into pop bottles. Uh, Coke didn't pay me anything for it. They just gave me a bottle there. And uh, Pepsi, yeah, I'm not advertising any particular brand, but you can store them in these handy plastic containers or Ziploc. Oh yeah, this is some zucchini. Nobody knows what to do with zucchini, but I just sliced them thin, put them on the same tray, put them out in the sun in my hot car. So some people are saying, how do you keep your apples from going brown when you dice them like this? And the answer is, you don't. Um, it would be like asking, how do you keep a grape from shriveling up when you make it into a raisin? These are like the equivalent of apple raisins, and they're delicious. You chew them up just like an apple raisin, they're great, and they'll get you through the winter. Then I spread them out on a, well, I put down some paper towel first, and then spread them out onto a cookie sheet, and then I take them to my vehicle. And if you've ever noticed how hot your car gets in the summertime, I mean, this is even fall. I put them in my, into the front, the window front dash of my little car, and they sit there. I've even got some over here in my smart car. And you put them on that front dash, and when the sun comes up in the morning, if you've ever noticed how hot your car gets, it's better than a solar heater. Well, it, I mean, it is a solar heater. It's better than an electric heater, which costs a lot. This is free solar power. You can take these on hikes. You can take them on a hike just like that or mix them with your trail mix. And it's the perfect uh, bug out survival food for the winter. Someone suggested putting these into granola. That's a perfect idea or into a trail mix. The apples now are taking two days to dry because we're in the fall. And so I don't get the hot days that I got in the summer. That's the unfortunate part about fall. But there you go.